in the previous video uh, we did two steps now in the third step we will prepare the native sql string i will also introduce you to a new class which will help us to build a dynamic sql where condition okay so we will no need to write where matna equal to s matna so that that statement we can build using a and class method let's check how so i'll do an inline data declaration i'll refer a class so it will be uh, this is the new class which i am talking about it is sel okay selection tab selection tab and then i'll say new this is also a new syntax for you then it cell equal to s matna okay this s matna is already defined in the selection screen so i can show you where it is so let me go up here you see this s matna so we we just declare the reference actually i wrote it in the wrong place i wanted to write this in the third step that is prepare here and then we'll prepare the where clause so we have just in this line we have just instantiated the reference class now we'll use actually prepare the where clause okay where clause i'll say selection this is the inline declaration equals to the class seltab then i'll say sql this is the oh, it's giving me sql where condition and then it has an iv of ild if you do not know this you can just do control shift and then it will give control space sorry control space so i'll show in debug how this where class will look like similarly we can do for for the next um, object which is m dot right it was m t a r t m dot and i'll give this a name as selection tab 2 and then where class 2 and i need to do this cell tab 2 and then i just need to change here and make m t t a r t this is uh, case sensitive you need to be very careful and also uh, i wanted to tell you that m dot matner so i have given m dot matner because i want to use uh, the ls for mara as m okay so if you want to use as i you can write i dot matner if you want to use as z you can write z dot matner well so whenever you do a join you always give that mara as m or mara as ma or mara as mara you can write said so whatever you are planning to give you just mention that here all right now we will build the actual where clause statement all right so i'll say lv where clause statement we could have done inline again but i've already defined that's for i'm not using that uh, i'll do the modern uh, way so you can always go to the sql console of your adt and then create or check the uh, sql statement but i know it so therefore i'm typing it here so i'll say select m dot matner i'll have to give a comma m dot m dot i'll give a comma t dot m a k t x t is the text table which i am going to planning to use so select this and i i told you m percent m percent that will concatenate the text so i'll say pipe from mara as what you know it m then inner join so i am just doing inner join this is not mandatory m a k t as t because we have already defined it as t here right so i'll give space and then i'll again concatenate using m percent m percent then i'll say where do we join it on m m a t n r equals to t m a t n r so you could have done in one line but for clarity i'm just spreading it into multiple lines and also showing you how to concatenate using the ampersands now we need to where where m dot m a n d t so here i'll show you a new one 
so where I will say I want to pass a dynamic value so I mend it all right and then I need to give a quotes the single quotes so this is important because uh, you need to pass the variables in this curly braces and then you still need to have the quotes all right and what I need want to do where this equal to this and here comes our dynamic variable so what is the variable this one which you have already defined right so I'm putting in curly braces so that it will have the value and and the, there should be another and and what is the next one where clause 2 And when you are working with database, you should always give order by clause, okay? Because as for HANA, it does not explicitly send you sorted. So you have to sort or order by explicitly. So order by M, M A T N R, and then give a full stop. Do not worry, I'll, I'll debug this and show you uh, how this syntax looks at runtime. The fourth step is to issue the the first step is to issue the native SQL call. So what we'll do, we'll issue it. Issue means we'll just call that. So we have this class SQL statement, yes, and then I'll say execute. You already know that execute query, and then I'll say exporting. Exporting, I'll say statement. So that's the beauty, you just control space, you'll get it. So what should be the statement? The statement should be what you just prepared a little while ago. So you prepare the statement here. So L where class. So this is your statement which you want to pass. And then you can say hold cursor equal to space. And then receiving so you want to receive it somewhere right so result set so equals to lr sql i already have this result set so you are holding the result set in this reference all right you could have done this in inline as well as i shown showed you in the previous uh, examples uh, where we use the inline declaration but here I am using a long form and you should always do this in try and try so that if there is any uh, exception it can it doesn't dump and then catch so for the catch I'll just copy from what we already prepared here so I'll just copy this catch statements I'll go down and then put it here all right and i'll just shift f7 just to format i'll just right click code format shift f1 sorry and then we go to the next step in the next step we want to get the result of the query in a table so we have already defined a table type so table type is this so and we have also defined a internal table which is LT result okay so now I will try to um, assign a reference to LR data so LR data is type ref to data okay so I'll try to assign the structure into this uh, reference okay type data let's see how we can do that uh, actually we have already shown in previous examples but I'll show you a little different here so I'll do a long way LT into what LR data so you have you get the result of the query in the table and you are doing this in LR data and how do you get that LR you have this SQL I'll show you how you have this SQL statement here right and you are getting this result over here so we'll get to this result I'll just copy here and paste it here and then I'll say set parameter table not structure not variable is a table and then 
I could have directly used it, but I am trying to go a long way. That is exporting. You do not need to do exporting. You can refer to the previous video where you can do it inline without sending the exporting. Let's go to LR data. So you're done. I need to give a space and I'll do a try and try again and then we can we should also do the exception so exception i'll just copy from above so it's just the same exception i'm trying to put but you you can always pick and choose which one you want all right set of one i just formatted i'll save it so we have uh, set the reference to this the output to this reference now we want to get the whole result set that means we want to get the whole package so how i do that our sql result set next package so this is a simple statement next package and again you you should do the try and try stuff try and try and then i want to give the exceptions or catch the exceptions i just pasted what i had earlier I formatted it so we are good and now we are left with step 7 and 8 that is closing the query and then closing the connection so that is pretty simple uh, sql i will just result set i'll says close control says space and then close and i'll just give the parenthesis and similarly i will close the connection so first i close the query now i'm closing the connection so for connection is sql connection all right you go there and then close so we have done the eight steps which we were talking in the previous videos as well so what we did with the connection and instantiated the query or statement sorry then prepare the uh, SQL code, then call the SQL, send the target, got the result set, uh, close the query and close the connection. And now we want to display the output. So that's the final piece which we need to display. So we'll use a standard um, class to display the ALB. And where, where will that data be stored? The data will be stored in the LT result which you have already defined you have provided a reference over here lt result right so the data will be in this table all right so when here you did not do anything next package you did not do anything but still it will be in that table good that i came up i have missed this brackets over here so otherwise you would have find be hard time finding it out so i'll i'll just use salv table i'll say salv t a b l e I'll use the factory method, okay, and then I'll say importing perfect R. This should be one SLV, yeah. RSLV is equal to so I have already defined this LV and then changing T, this should be T table. Okay, you got it there. T table equals to the tables where we have the result. Perfect. So we are done with this. I'll put a full stop over here. And then, so we got the factory. Now we need to show the output. So LR, S A L V, A L V. We just need to call the display. So we are done with the end-to-end -end programming. Let's see if we get activated. Okay, activation failed. Let's check the problem. So I, I'm here, error one. The field S matner M tart is unknown, but this field similar S M A T R T. Okay, so let's correct one of them. So it can be M tart or M M A T R T. So I'll just make this as M tart. Okay, let's try to activate again. All right, activation finished with warning. So we are not worried with the warning. 
so it is activated so our program is activated let's try to get an output let's run it so what i'll do i'll hit f8 so i am i did i'm doing f8 all right so the selection screen came i'm not passing anything in the db okay because i don't want to connect to any database but i want to connect to the default database which is our s4 hana now i will press execute or i'll press f8 so i press execute here and here you go you get the output so this is your matnar this is your material tie and this is the material so i have created some test materials and this is funky name i gave because in my system no one has created the data yet so i just created a couple of them this is the first material second material and third material i hope uh, you were able to understand how we will use this adbc in real projects so in real projects you will be selecting data from some tables like real tables so i selected it from mara and matner sorry mara and um, matx maktx sorry and then we instantly issue the call and then we assign the target uh, then then we retrieve the result set close the query and then close the database connection and display the output so in most of the program you will be also using the same case so if your database is other than hana the only thing which will differ is the sql query this one so this part will differ for different database this is database specific if you are in hana you can have select m.matner if it is in microsoft or if it is in oracle it it would be a little different okay so based on your database this uh, native sql query will differ but other process all the other steps from 1 to 8 which i have defined it remains the same so in the next video we will debug this program and we will go uh, see and check step by step how it looks in the debug mode